Drama lies in tears. Cheers to the teenage years. So the modern day Shakespeare that wrote that beautiful, heart-wrenching line of poetry, I hope you know you revolutionized every teenage girl LG drowning world life. I mean, that broken mascara, dead eye, killing to survive in social stamina without bravery, shipping away her dreams and destiny for slavery. That little girl now knows exactly what to put on her Facebook profile caption to receive a reaction that spells and says, I like you because you think the same way I do. And photo credits. But if Facebook was like high school, girls behind bathroom stalls write comments on the wall about how gorgeous we all look. If we live in this Facebook oxymoron, maybe we would cling on to less things than notoriety and express ourselves with a little bit more variety than photo bucket, picnic edits, Instagram filters, and nine gigs over Reddit. So the high school was like Facebook. People would smile at feeling like shit. Say they like you when you complain about feeling inadequate. People would stare at each other with wide eyes, examining every stranger's life and face for a trace of entertainment. A lonely foreign exchange student would be serenaded with HPDs on his birthday, even though he's Chinese and can't quite understand what that means, he'll smile and laugh anyways. We'll be instantly friends with people that we don't know and we'll grow to not feel pressure from attending every party because we killed the overly repetitive diagnostic of pain. There wasn't a dislike button, things were famous, not infamous if you win, you lose. Suicide is free. Brainwashed by magazines and what we see on TV, you are ashamed. So welcome to the Facebook High School, where we actually live the life we claim to be. For us, we share you and me. When apples fall at our heads, we do not scream. We question the ability of gravity. And the Facebook oxymoron, where every night is the best night ever. OMG, we have more friends than are funnier, prettier, more accomplished, wittier, but we spend less time comparing and more time caring, daring ourselves to be beautiful. We could change. To all the birds that can never fly, never make it to the moon. Who knows how or who or why their hearts turn purple at the sight of a sky of blue. Platforming for popularity, they bled red, but they couldn't feel a shivers of abstraction. They couldn't feel a fraction of torment that are sent from the sky was horrid. At least they weren't dead. I like to feel that since we all think this way, at least we have each other with thicker pens, cut lower stems, beating off this creature that has become of one another. Goodbye, wonder. We are segregated. For, for five years, we parade like bull's eyes and touch. For the long glances we exchanged or rushed, our true aspirations, imaginations hushed. For every hallway to paint its walls with sad songs, like hourglass. For every gray ten's head that led nowhere, whisper whistles like an undead scar to paint the pains of its walls with the took them too far too long. For every heroic valedictorian to wrong, come home and beg that he was never alive for the goodness of high school. God, Mr. Principal, save us. I hope we survive. Word.